Hi guys, uh, so today I'm going to answer just uh, this question that I get a lot, this Virtuoso mount I have, the Skywatcher Virtuoso GTI. Uh, this is not only my complaint, but <coughs> this mount is good, but for some reason it uh, drifts a lot. And when I say drifting is when you have the, exp the camera taking the pictures of the sky, it will keep... The, th the stars will keep trailing and, and on random occasions it will go to another location in the sky for unknown reasons, I don't know why. But the only thing that uh, I found has fixed this is by, by, by uh, the mistake that, that I made, I found this, this, is, this solution. Last time I tried to update this mount, the, do, do the firm, firmware update from, from Skywatcher. And I try to update the mount with Wi-Fi, because this mount works, works with Wi-Fi, it doesn't have a hand, hand controller. And in doing so, the update stopped and it ruined everything. I was connecting with the mount and didn't want to connect. It was useless. Many people call, it, call this breaking your mount, because literally it is useless. You can't use it when this happens. So a week has passed. And I bought this since can USB adapter like this. Now when you buy this, uh, you need this this cable as well with this end. This will not come with it. You need to get it separately. I happen to have this because I use it with my Skywatcher Adventure GTI mount. But uh, plugging this. And obviously, this with the with the my computer has fixed has fixed. Uh, I, I was able to update the mount normally, and from version 3.26 it went to version 3.4. And now, but I don't know what the fix. If, if actually it is the the USB dongle, which is what is uh, this is called, or the update that I made. But the mount tracks beautifully now. I tried it on two separate nights. Uh, tracks tracks very good. It doesn't dr randomly drift anywhere now. And this LED, usually with Wi-Fi, it was blinking, always blinking. With the dongle, it stays on. It's not blinking, so that that has maybe something to do with it. But this and the firmware update uh, fixed fixed my issues. And uh, so this this uh, sense scan adapter is not not cheap. It's like. 50 euros, I think. And you can see how small it is, but to be honest, it's worth it if it fixes the uh, the issue. Because I trust me, it's a nightmare when they start drifting. Uh, it's a, it's a total nightmare to use. So this uh, m maybe it gives you hope to using an Altas mount for astrophotography. And uh, does this guy wash your tube there? Now, obviously, using a wide sensor camera is your friend here. So don't you don't expect to use a small sensor planetary camera and expect the mount to to stack for long because uh, with a small sensor camera you may be able to stack like 15 minutes only on sharp cap and you have to restart the stack a wide sensor camera will allow you to do more than 30 minutes before you have to restart the stack so you just need this these two this is this this usb is like the one you connect with the Astro camera, but as you can see, it has a bit missing from it. I don't know what it's called, but there are out there. Are out there. Uh, I, I found sometimes on Google or something like that. Uh, this connects with Astro camera as well, so we can use it, because I used it sometimes. And it just connects, that cable connects here, and you connect the dongle here, in the ST4 connection mount, like this. As you can see, it's connected. But obviously, you turn the and you, you don't need Wi-Fi now to to connect to the mount. You can just use it on the PC from the SynScan app and connect it. Connect to the you have to go to connect settings first. Press serial and uh, then connect. Uh, press the com. There is uh, the adapter, adapter name or something like that. Press com. Usually, it is com six or com seven, something like that, and connect to the mount that way. So you don't need Wi-Fi on to connect with it, and trust me, this uh, it connects super fast like that, and the the tracking is really really good. 
I I I just love using this mount now because to be honest I was thinking of thinking of selling it because uh, that drifting issue was really horrible. Uh, other than that, this mount is awesome. I, I did like very good images with it, as you can see on my channel, uh, with that Dobsonian tube, 6 inch tube, it's very, very good. At like for 400 euros, you can't beat this mount to start as photography. And that's it, basically. I hope, hope this video helps you out to all my fellow friends that have this Skywatcher Adventure, ah, uh, Skywatcher Adventure was a GTI mount. And I will see you in the next video. Clear skies, guys.